Have you ever struggled with understanding contracts in English? Whether you're looking at a lease or a sales and purchase agreement, understanding contract language can be hard. In this video, we'll look at some key vocabulary and expressions that you're likely to come across in contracts written in English. Hi, it's Jenny from Real Estate English Academy. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell for notifications. There are many different types of contracts and agreements that are used in real estate. Typical examples include leases, financing agreements, and sales and purchase agreements. In this video, we'll take a look at some typical vocabulary and formulations that you're likely to find in different types of agreements. This lease, here and after referred to as lease, is entered into by and between downtown properties, here and after referred to as lessor, and Motown investors, here and after referred to as lessee. The expression is entered into by and between introduces the contractual parties of the agreements. The phrase here and after referred to as introduces the defined terms of a contract. Anytime you see a capitalized word in an agreement, it indicates that for the purposes of the contract, that capitalized word has a specific definition. If you see the same word in lowercase, it has the typical meaning that you would find in the dictionary. Let's move on to the next sample sentence. The vendor agrees to sell the property to the purchaser and the purchaser hereby agrees to buy the property from the vendor pursuant to the terms and conditions specified herein. The expression pursuant to has the same meaning as in accordance with. In other words, the terms and conditions defined in the agreement need to be fulfilled. You can see that the words vendor and purchaser are capitalized and therefore refer to the vendor and purchaser defined in the agreement. This video is brought to you by Real Estate English Academy, the place for real estate professionals to build confidence and fluency in English. If you want to learn more about Real Estate English, check out our Real Estate English Kickstarter course. Just follow the link in the description box below. The property shall be transferred free from all encumbrances. An encumbrance is a claim or a right to a property by a party that is not the owner. The formulation shall be is commonly used in contracts and indicates a required action. It basically tells you what has to be done. The rental premises shall be ready for occupancy as of the handover date. Ready for occupancy refers to the point in time at which a building is move in ready for the tenant. The handover date refers to the point in time at which construction is completed and all the necessary building completion certificates have been obtained from the authorities. Let's move on to the next sentence. The purchase price is due by January 1st and payable by bank transfer to an escrow account. The expression is due by refers to the date by which the payment of the purchase price must be received. An escrow account is an account where funds are held in trust while the buyer and seller close the transaction. The buyer of the property deposits the payment amount for the property in an escrow account held by a third party like the agent. The amount in escrow is transferred to the seller once all the conditions of the sale have been satisfied. The buyer shall notify the vendor in writing and without delay should any changes be made to the planned move-in date. 
The verb to notify has the same meaning as to inform. The expression without delay has the same meaning as immediately. Let's move on to our next sentence. Any costs arising from the execution of this agreement shall be borne by the purchaser. The formulation execution of this agreement means that the agreement has been signed by the parties, which is necessary for it to become effective. The verb to bear the costs or the past participle born has the same meaning as to pay. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.